cooking, cooking, cooking with Amy. Hey guys, good morning. Oh my goodness gracious, if you could smell the studio this morning, it smells like summer. It's been such a long winter that a burger on the grill, I, sometimes I don't think there's anything better. And today I'm going to show you how to do my all-time favorite burger on the grill that you pay actually big bucks for out at a restaurant, save some dough, and make them at home. I'm doing my mushroom Swiss burgers. So I started out with some ground beef patties, and you'll just throw them on your grill, or if you have a grill pan, you want to do it inside. And instead of salt and pepper, I'm seasoning these up with your favorite steak seasoning salt. So they're going to have that great kind of steaky flavor. When it comes to doing burgers in the summer, I really like to do not the really, really like the ground round. That's a little bit too lean. I still like some fat in there. So an 80-20 is kind of the fat ratio you're looking for. So a ground beef or ground truck will do the trick. But again, season both sides with some some of your favorite steak seasoning salt. So mushrooms, use that side burner on the grill when the weather's nice. Keep it all outside. So I'm just sauteing some sliced mushrooms. I kept it easy. Bought the pre-sliced mushrooms that are already washed and sliced for me. They just cost maybe a teeny bit more and it's worth it. Time is money in my book. Saute those in a little bit of olive oil. This one just didn't want to get in there. Or a little bit of salt and pepper, or and a little bit of salt and pepper, or butter. So butter or olive oil, your choice. And you can be sauteing those mushrooms while your burgers are cooking. I think mushrooms on a burger, wow, just takes it to a whole other level. Okay, so my cheese of choice, Swiss cheese on these. So just picked up some Swiss cheese. And then how could this burger be any better? What about a little bacon on the top? So I've got a couple slices of bacon. So if you're making bur uh, bacon on a Sunday morning, I always say make a couple extra pieces. I like to throw them in salads. They're great on top of burgers. Okay, our mushrooms are getting nice and tender. You know me, I'm always cooking, even on the me uh, weekend. Make sure and watch Good Day Wisconsin Sunday. I'm making uh, steak and veggie kebabs. Really easy, but you totally look like a rock star when you bring these out to the table. They are absolutely delicious. So I'm living with Amy today. We're going to make everything just a little bit better. I'm making a layered Greek dip, a perfect, easy, make-ahead dip for summer that everybody loves. Okay, we're also making homemade granola bars on Living with Amy. So as far as the condiments for this burger go, I'm going to keep it simple, and I'm going to do A1 steak sauce. Ketchup for this, you could do ketchup, you could do mustard. And one other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to toast that bun up. Throw the bun on the grill just a last minute or two. Um, it'll make that burger, uh, it'll hold up to the burger a little bit better and no cheapy, cheapy buns for um, these great gourmet type burgers. You wanna go, go to the bakery at festival and pick up some nice hard rolls or hamburger buns. But when you toast those buns, it just warms them up and um, just makes them that much better. So sometimes you'll get a nice little grill marks on the buns, so all right. A little A1 sauce, which I happen to love. So as, as I said, it's kind of going to taste a little bit like a steak with the steak seasoning salt. Now we're going to take one of these great burgers. Cheese is getting all melty. And we're going to throw some mushrooms down over the top. No skimping on the mushrooms either. This is almost a knife and fork burger. Really, really good. There you go. My mushroom Swiss burgers, you'd pay about... Ten bucks or more for a burger like this out at a restaurant. Save some money, make them at home. Everyone will love them. We'll put the recipe on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. Don't go anywhere. Pete and Rachel will be right back to dive into these babies. Stay with us. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.